Hi, thanks again for joining me on this uh, Bible talk. And uh, this talk, it's called the coronation of the king. And yes, it's great to have people watching the video from uh, hopefully all over the world. Now, I live in the United Kingdom and obviously in the UK in a couple of days. We're going to have the coronation ceremony for King Charles. Now, at the coronation, he doesn't actually just become king at the coronation because he's already king. He became king on the 8th of September, just at the same time as his mother passed on, Queen Elizabeth. So let's pray for King Charles that... Uh, that he'll just know the Lord's blessings and he can just guide this country and just be a good Christian example to this country, just as his mother was. That's King Charles. So, so even though we're going to have this coronation ceremony, it doesn't actually make uh, Charles the king because he's already king. And uh, But what we're doing is uh, we're celebrating him becoming king and we're just recognising King Charles as the king. And uh, just, I'd just like to read some verses now from the Bible. And this is actually about an other king who we want to recognise. And it's talking about Jesus. And this is uh, Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 to 11. And it says... Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. So just like Charles, he's already king of the United Kingdom. And I think the, the, the Commonwealth as well. And the, the coronation is just going to recognise him as being king. But see, he's, he's already king. And when you look at Jesus, he's already king. Now, whether, whether or not people want to make Jesus the king of their own lives, to crown him, as Lord and Saviour and King in their own lives. It doesn't change the fact that Jesus is King. Because as these verses say that everybody, one day, everybody will have to just acknowledge that Jesus, that he is Lord. They'll have to acknowledge his kingship. So Jesus, he is King, whether or not people want to crown him kings in their own individual lives. So somebody would say, well, Jesus, He's not my king. You know, I, I do my own thing. I don't need Jesus as my king. It doesn't change anything. Or they might not believe in Jesus. They might, just need, they might say, well, Jesus, he was just a good person. He's not really king of kings and lord of lords. He's not really son of God. Now, people might say that. It doesn't change anything. Jesus, he is king. He is God the son. He is son of God. And one day every knee shall bow before Jesus. But it's so much better to, on an individual basis, acknowledge Jesus as your own king now, and for me to acknowledge Jesus as my own king now, which I do, so much better to do it voluntarily than have to realise that one day that, well, we were wrong to reject Jesus. And isn't it great that Jesus, the King of kings and Lord of lords, he's been knocking on the door of our lives, and it says in Revelation 3.20, if we open the doors of our lives to him, accept him as our own personal Saviour and Lord, he will come into our lives to be king of our lives. So we know this king on an individual basis who forgives our sins and he changes our lives so that we can then just live his way and just be blessed by him. Although so, so he, he is king, so Jesus, he is king of kings, whether people like it or not. But it's just so much better because he's a good he's a good God, he's loving and merciful. He died for each one of us. 
So it's so much better now to accept him as your own king now. But let's also rejoice in our King Charles and let's the UK just be a country that honours God, maybe under Charles' example. We know we're not perfect, but let's pray for our King Charles that he will just know the Lord's blessing and he'll just acknowledge Jesus, the greater king, the king of all kings, just as his mother did. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. If you're in the UK, I hope you enjoy the coronation. I'll be watching it, sure, but I'll be watching it on TV and then just to watch it as a great day for our country in that. And uh, yeah, so thanks for following me on this uh, Bible talk and uh, God bless you.